What's going on everybody? Jay back again here to do a review on the Batman 1989 Grapno Launcher replica made by NECA. So personally I don't know how old this replica is, if it was made recently or a while back, but it just started hitting my local Walmart. So I thought I'd grab it. You know, I looked up a video beforehand to see if it was good enough to buy and as you can see, it was since I have it here. Now I've seen that this has been purchased at Walmart and Target. Walmart has the more expensive, you know, price on this at 30 bucks, where at Target it is about 15 to 20 bucks. Now I am a big fan of the Tim Burton Batman films, um, Tim Burton films in general. Um, so I had to bring this into my collection, give you guys a review on this, give you guys my personal opinion on it. And as I open this for the first time, you know, I will be reacting with you guys unless you have seen someone else unbox this launcher. So without further ado, guys, let's get this thing out of the box. But before we do that, let's check out this box. We have Batman logo right there, Batman 89, Grapno, launcher, replica. We have the launcher right there, right on top. Same thing with the actual Batman. Let's see if we can focus on that. Come on. Right there, Batman logo. The side, same thing, Batman logo. And on the back, it shows the functionalities. We got the handle that unfolds right there. We have the actual launcher here. We got the trigger right here, and the button on top retracts the grapnel. Now, let's get it out of the box. All right, guys, and here we have the Batman 89 grapnel launcher replica. So I've watched other videos of people doing reviews on this, and you know, I was a little iffy, like it looks amazing. I was a bit iffy on the size of it, but after rewatching the movie, this is pretty much at least 99% accurate um, to the grapnel launcher that is actually used in Batman 89. Now, yes, I am saying 99% accurate. That is because it is not 100% accurate close enough you know um, but there are about one or two things that they could have done different um, to actually make this 100% accurate to the Batman 89 film alright guys let's start off with the actual look of the grapnel again 99% accurate to the film the gold paint right here is actually pretty accurate I would say it's not that shiny but it is definitely gold this part right here is accurate now like I said, 99% because this actually detaches. Again, that would probably be a little more money, make this more expensive. You're getting a good price on this, so this does not detach at all. I do like the detail in this part right here. As you can see, it is, you know, metal lining right there to make it look like the string is actually metal um, that comes out right here. Um, that's actually pretty cool. It's just actually painted. Um, as you can see right there, mine has a paint scruff, but that's not a big deal at all. Pretty cool right there. I actually like that. This does take two batteries. They're not AAA or AA. I forget the name of them right now. Um, I'll put them up on the screen right now, actually, but it does take two of those. I did put them in already. I did struggle and I've seen everybody else struggle to, you know, the screw comes out perfectly fine, but the actual plate right here, it, it's a real pain in the butt, you know, to actually get that off. Um, as you can see, it's like little scratch marks here and there to actually try to get this off. Now, if you turn it to this side right here, this is where the handle comes in. Now, I did say 99% accurate. There are two things. I showed you the first one. The second one is this. I believe this is more like a metal color, more of a silver. Um, but you could easily paint that yourself if you want to. I I'm perfectly fine with this. Um, but if they would have painted this silver, that would have been just a bit more accurate. Um, he does shoot it like this. In the movie, he holds it once like this, and then he does open it at one point and holds it with two hands, as a matter of fact, and shoots it like this. And I actually think that's a cool feature that they added, you know, putting it here, here. I would say I would like them to have a stand. I mean, it stands on its own, perfectly fine. You know, whichever way you want to have it, whichever direction you want to have it in your display, you know. But maybe a little something here, or I, I don't know, it's it just too plain to just have on its own unless you have other things that you know are part of the movie like a statue or something 
which I do have, which will look great with this. But a stand would have been nice, but it does stand perfectly fine on its own. Now, as you can see right here, the hook, nice chrome looking gold. It does show your fingerprints, but that's nothing. You just want to keep it clean. Just clean it off yourself. Um, now, let's get to the features right here. This is where the trigger is. You just simply pull that and it shoots out. I've seen in other videos that it shoots pretty far. I would like to see how far it does shoot on my own. And right here on top, after you shoot it, this is where you retract the grapnel. That's why you need the batteries. All right, so I'm gonna shoot once and see how far that goes. And then I will try to angle it so that you guys can actually see how far it goes. So here we go. Try to focus, there we go. Whoa. Okay, guys. <laughs> Hold on one second. What just happened? It is stuck over here, okay. Guys, that flew. Whoa, okay. So, it, it's pretty long. As you can see, it's just still going. There we go. This is just a plain, you know, gray plastic, which is not too bad, you know. Um, wow, that, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm just still shocked of how fast that went. And again, here we go to retract it. You press this button here. Zooming it in. And then it stops here. And then you can go here. When you go here, it doesn't go all the way. You simply have to, you know, align it and just press it in. Let me see if I can get a better angle so that you guys can see how far and how fast this thing actually launches. All right, guys. So right over there, I have a Shazam Funko Pop. I'm about, I would say, two feet away. You know, I want to see if that's the length pretty much of this grapnel. So I'm going to press the button, see if I can hit him, and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, and then of course just reel it back in. And punch it in. That, guys, that was crazy. Alright guys, that was my little review on the Batman 89 Grapno Launcher Replica by NECA. And I'm not going to lie, this is one of my favorite items that I do now own of Batman 89. Um, again, 99% accurate. Don't think you can find anything close enough to this unless you get it actually custom made. And guys, for the price of 15 to 30 bucks, you really can't beat that at all. Now, before I end the video, I do want to, you know, go and show you guys some still photos of the grapnel launcher from batman 89 i'll throw those on the screen right now so it is pretty accurate like i said there's just a few a couple actually of things they could have changed to actually make it a little more accurate but again 99 percent accurate 15 to 30 bucks you really cannot beat that neca did a great job on this i will also throw out there please do not use this to harm anybody this does shoot out pretty fast pretty hard um, it could definitely poke an eye out. Please be careful when you are using this grapnel launcher replica. I hope you all enjoyed the review. If you did, smash that like button, you know, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to be the first one to see new content. I want you all to stay safe, stay clean, stay healthy, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.